Hey, welcome back to Building with Boba. Today we're going to be making a cup in on shape. Now, I know this isn't probably the most exciting project. It's actually kind of boring. Um, the reason why we're doing this project is there's a few new tools that are really easy to show with this cup project. That is being the sweep tool and the offset plane uh, tools. Uh, I always say that the best way to learn is by doing examples. And that way, we're going to be making this cup and on shape. Another reason why making a cup and on shape isn't that fun is because practically you probably wouldn't want to print it out. Uh, it's not cost effective and even if you did print it out there's issues with like drinking or using it, uh, 3D printed materials for food and drinking and plus if you put it in the dishwasher a dish, uh, washer, it'll probably get destroyed. So I'm making a new project in on shape and I do have a step-by-step uh, -step instructions that you could also use it will be linked in the description and it really depends on what kind of learner you are if you just prefer to use the steps that's totally fine and again the steps go very into detail list out every single thing like stuck the uh, sketch be normal too, and which tools. That way, if you are fairly confident, you want to just go through it, and you don't want to listen to me talk. Watching the, uh, um, using this PDF is totally fine. Oops. Okay, so we're on the screen. Everyone should be here. I always stop. Start with the top plane. Press View Normal Two. New sketch. Select the top plane, and we're going to be drawing two circles first. It just depends on how big you want the cup. Doesn't really matter since we're not printing this out. Then close the sketch. Then we're going to click on this out out outer ring. Press the extrude button. Then we're going to right click our mouse to uh, rotate. If it's easier, you can use this thing in the top to use the arrows. But you can see this is really not large enough. You're going to have to make it a lot bigger. Okay, so I rotated it opposite, so it's upside down. Okay, so again, it's artistic choice how tall you want to make it. I still feel like it's too small, so I'm just going to make it as large as I see. I think it looks normal. For me, it looks good at a height of 4.3 inches, but it just really depends on the scale of yours and your, pref pre uh, your preference. So now we just have a hole, or like a, a cylinder, empty cylinder. Uh, we need a bottom. So, we're going to unhide the sketch. Select on this part. Okay, so upside down, I think. Okay, like that. Good. Extrude. Now, for this part, one inch is way too high. You won't really be able to tell the height because we did it in this order, but you want to just make it pretty thin because otherwise it's going to take up way too much space inside the cup. So, 0.1 inches is a good height. Next, for me, I like to round the top of this cup. It looks more natural, so I press, I, top, I click the top of the cup and press the fillet button. Doesn't let me do that because of some error. What I do then is just click on the out, outer edge, fillet. Then I click on the inner edge, fill it, and bam. Now we have the cup with that rounded top. And for the most important part, the handle. That what kind of what makes a coffee cup a coffee cup. So first thing we want to do is to offset a plane. What that means is basically we're going to be making a new plane. 
So I'm going to click on this one. Right click and click on the one that says offset. I'm going to move it. So if you look up right here, you can see that this plane is still intersecting this cup. I just want it to be tangent to it or slightly less. I don't want it to be like not touching it at all. It has to be either tangent or intersecting with it. I don't know if there's an exact tool to do this, so if however close you can get it to, as long as they're touching. So that's a close enough for me. I think that it might work better if it's intersecting slightly versus it being tangent. But anyways, so we have a new plane here called plane one since I didn't rename it. That's touching is on the edge of this cup. Click the plane plus press view normal two. Now new sketch. We're gonna have a circle on the bottom. Then I'll press the escape button and copy and paste it. I just use command C, command V. Then I press on the square so I can, I have like free access to wherever I want to move it. And you'll see when I have it directly on top of the original, there's a little line thing that shows up, that little um, straight line. So you want to make sure they're directly on top of each other. Then I press the left mouse button to finalize its movement and so now they're there. This part, uh, like the uh, space in between those two circles depend, uh, determines how big the handle will be. So after we make it you might want to undo so you can fix it if you don't like how it looks. So once I'm done I press check mark and the last sketch we have to make, rotate. Oops. Okay. So now I'm clicking on the right plane, new sketch, and whoops. I want to make a arc, a three point arc, from this point to this point. And then uh, the, um, I guess the radius of it, I can drag in and out. Obviously, it's going to be on this side, but it's just your preference on how big the arc will be for me. I Since I kind of put the circles too close to each other, something like this might look fine. But if you it does bother you how it looks afterwards, you can always undo. So... Again, make sure that the points are on the center of those two circles. And our final step will be to use this tool called Sweep. First I select the circle, then I select the other circle, then I click on the button that says Sweep Path, it should be in red, and I click on the line. And then BAM! Um, it will become a 3D object. Once it's good, I press the check mark, and we got ourselves a cup. I did make it a bit too big, so if I wanted to, I could always edit the sketch by pressing the dimension tool. I believe that should work. I don't know if it will. Let's see. does. Okay, let's see. That looks much better now. Proportionally good. And then, lastly, to get a good picture of it, and to make it, like, finalized to, to present, I hide the planes. I then do shaded without edges. Click on the button that says 
isometric or actually diametric might look better. And if you wanted to, you could change the colors. I will highlight everything at as at appearance. And I'm gonna just make it like a white cup. That looks like your typical coffee cup. And that's pretty much it. We could always add like text to it and stuff which of course won't turn out well on the 3d print but I don't think we're gonna be doing that in this video but that's all we have we have a pretty cool looking cup in the 3d render okay I will see you next time on building with Bella